Hello, my love, and welcome to day seven of our breathwork challenge. So today on our live call, Zoom had an issue recording our session. So I'm just recording a quick redo of our breathwork today. So we actually went through three different breathwork techniques. We began with Ujjayi breath which is our ocean breath that we use in yoga. So it's the yogi breath. And then we moved into two minutes of ego eradicator, breath of fire. And then to end, we had a big release with the Kali sword breath. So quickly to explain these three to you. The first one, Ujjayi breath. Maybe you're already familiar with it. If you've gone to a yoga class, you probably heard the teacher say, activate your ujjayi breath or ocean breath. If you're unfamiliar with it, we're restricting the back of the throat in the same way that you would use to say, <sighs> clean glasses or put fog onto a mirror. <sighs> so it's that restriction in the back of the throat. But we're closing the mouth and breathing through the nose. And it sounds like the ocean moving in and out, the waves, and this is very calming, brings our awareness inward, slows the breath a little, so it also calms the nervous system. So we'll start with that as we drop out of the mind, out of thoughts of our day, and come into this moment, into the present, and into our bodies. Then we'll do two minutes of breath of fire. You can choose to do ego eradicator here. Again, that's with the arms out. We did this, I believe, on day three. Or you can place your hand over your solar plexus, like I do. On the day that we had our ego eradicator, I explained that when I do breath of fire, I like to visualize an internal sun. Like it's my power being activated and this light from my solar plexus is glowing and glowing and glowing. So I like to put my hand right here, but it's totally up to you. You can do ego eradicator or breath of fire. I'm going to put the timer on my phone and we're going to do just over two minutes. And then we're moving into Kali's fierce sword breathing technique. I don't have a name for it, <laughs> but this breath work is done standing. And I'll just explain it sitting now, but when you're standing up, you're bringing your hands together like a sword, inhaling up, opening, inhaling back up, and then a third inhale, ha, and your stance is wide, so you're doing that last sword, cut through your legs, ha, and it's powerful, it's releasing. So we are on day seven, the final session of this journey. On day one, I had you write down everything you're ready to release. If there's any extra energies, anything left in your being, in your life at this time that you're ready to just cut loose, literally cut it loose, this is the time. If you're tuning into this live, even if you're not, you're getting the energy that we're bringing to you, moving from winter season to spring season. And spring is a time of new beginnings. It's a time of life, of renewal, of rebirth, of cleansing and cleaning. You've heard of spring cleaning. We're also doing an internal spring cleaning. So clearing out your space, cleaning your home, and also cleaning out anything, releasing it, cutting it loose from your life. So sitting up tall, where you are, chin slightly tucked in, taking a couple deep breaths into the lower belly, filling up, exhale out of the mouth, letting it all go, <sighs> maybe moving your shoulders or your neck, releasing any tension from your day. Ah. One more time, deep, deep inhale in. Ah. And activating your ujjayi breath, slowing the breath down slightly. Breathing all the way into the root. Tracing your breath, watching it come in like a wave, all the way down the spine and back up, releasing. 
Inhale, cleansing. Exhale, releasing. Inhale, new energy. Exhale, letting go of the old. Leaving the past in the past and opening to the new. Trusting that something bigger and better than you can even imagine is on its way to you in this new season if you remain open to it. Continuing that ocean breath, visualize the breath moving in like a wave and out. Calming the mind, calming the body, calming your entire being as you become more present in this moment, releasing all distractions, being fully present with yourself. Last few breaths. Now we'll move into two minutes of breath of fire. Finding your own rhythm, your own pace, closing the eyes and focusing on the third eye point between the brows. Bringing your arms up for Ego Eradicator if you desire. And we'll begin. Relaxing the face muscles as you breathe. picking up the pace a little if you can. together, squeezing, inhaling, holding that breath at the top, sucking as much as you can, 
holding, containing, containing, containing. And exhale, let it all go. <sighs> now coming into standing for our final breath work. And again, really inviting you to give this one your all. Let it all go. Really express yourself here. Let the sound be a vehicle to release your stress, to release everything that's been inside of you, that's been heavy on you, that you're ready to let go of. Let it release through that final sword cut and the sound that comes through. So standing up tall, feet are further than hip width apart and just bringing the hands together in front of the heart space, closing the eyes, and again, bringing into your awareness everything and anything you are ready to release, to cut loose, to push out now. So we'll begin, inhale up. Ha. 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 Whether you made it for every day, that you're here now, and that's what counts. So honoring yourself. Thank you so much for journeying with me and encouraging you to journal after this session everything you're saying yes to, full body yes to in this new season. What you've released is now released. What are you opening to? What are you opening space for in your life? And let yourself get excited for that. Satnam.